When conditions are tough and the fish aren't biting on traditional patterns, sometimes you have to get radical. Deep water attractors on heavy sink lines can be a great way to seek out the fish and turn a bad day of fishing into a good one. So it's all about adapting to tough conditions today as we take you sport fishing on the fly. This guy, boy, that's right out into my back. And, ooh, sure. looks like a good one. Uh, that's a good fish. Well, tequila. Tequila finally had to go to it. Well, wow, that's the way it goes, you know, out. it's been pretty slow. We had, we had the big rain shower push through. And it was just, uh, now it's starting to clear a little bit, but we had some high winds and heavy rains. Hoping some mayflies were gonna come off, but the mays haven't, haven't really come off. We've gone through a whole box, like trying to dip different areas. Not many fish moving. So you know the old standby? You put on tequila and uh, full sink line. It's always a go-to pattern. It looks pretty good, eh? Pretty good, good size. It went right into my backing, so. There he is, you probably get a good look at him here now. Nice colors, eh? Yeah. All right. Oh, looks like a nice fish. Nice fish. Oh yeah. There he is. You ate it. All right, there he is there. Not a bad size. You know, pretty good. Decent. Decent fish. Just let him revive here. He fought pretty good, eh? Oh, yeah, he was really ripping. Yeah. There he goes. Off he goes. Good. Wow, that was. Oh, good yeah. Bait. yeah. What a good fish. Well, it. and you had to resort to this guy. <sighs> Little tequila. It's always a good searching pattern. It's the freak to it of the... nature. It's something <laughs> you just don't ever get in nature. It's a crazy pattern. But you know, it's, it's a go-to when things are tough, right? It's a great searching pattern. When you have doubt where the fish are, you don't have a depth sounder, you can't find the fish, or they're really not biting. It's just an attractor pattern. It drives the fish crazy, but it's effective. It's effective. And with all these fronts, look at the fronts coming oh, through. Oh, I know. It's going to be tough. Nasty weather. So. I don't like to resort to tequila, but you know what? <laughs> To catch his fish, I'm gonna have to. I the way so. it is. I'm trying my bobber still. I got my indicator out there. I definitely went a lot deeper that time, right to the bottom. There, I got him. You got him? I got him. Finally. On the little dazzle. Oh, a little, little guy, but hey, that's all right. Ah. He ate it. He ate the dazzle. Not bad. Not bad. We saw a couple of dazzles swim by. Dale just got the one on tequila. And I saw a couple of damsels moving. I've also seen some mayflies, but again, not many. You know, I've seen about five or six mayfly shocks, a few adults flying around. We just saw a couple of damsels wiggle by. I mean, it's not a big movement by any means, but if you've got something similar and you have some fish actually moving, you can't get them. This guy's just a little guy, so I'm just gonna, just gonna unbutton him. But again, very soft take, right in the, right in the corner of the lip, right on the top of the lip, just like a condiment. Oh. But my little, there he goes. And that's all he is. All we have, a little Chaz Mayfly. That's all it is, just a nice little gold bead, a little bit of marabou, real easy to tie, but effective pattern, because it does imitate, obviously, mayflies, but it can get away from a chronomid, minus a little bit of the tail on there. But it worked, so let's get another one. Another one. Oh, oh, that's a bear fish. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Coming on the bite. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> they're coming on. Yeah, they're coming on. So I think the mayflies would probably work pretty good. We've got them on. I'm just keeping the keeping the damsel fly on. And this is a better fish. Oh, yeah. 
You can sell it's just slow hand movements. Got it down about six, seven feet, fishing eight feet of water. Letting the wind drift a little bit and then a real slow hand trust retrieve. I'm just hanging my, my damsel on there. And with that bead head, every time you give a little motion, just dips down a little bit, just dips down like a damsel wood is making its way up. And this guy is pulling hard. It's a nice fish. Wow. Yeah, they're nice fish, eh? Good oh, fish. Yeah. Tell me to. Yeah, he's a nice guy. No. Oh. Yeah, that's better. Oh, yeah. That's good. Oh, he ate it too, eh? Yeah. yeah. That's going to be a nicer size. Yeah. A little nice bit fish. better. Nice fish. Going to hold the net. I'll just uh, be able to unbutton them here. Oh, he did eat it pretty good. Yeah. It's right on the top, right on the top lip. Look at it. Right there, yeah. it's just tough to get at. There. there. Okay, it flies out. Oh yeah, nice guy. Just not huge, but again, look at the colors, eh? Yeah, they're really nice fish in so here. That guy came from, uh, I must have kept from the depth, because look at how green his back yeah. is. His back's really green. Excellent. Two All quick right. ones on the damsel. Well, they're starting to come on now. Like I had a couple more hits on the booby, they're on the damsel, so now we got that kind of weather coming. If we don't get bombed again, well, we'll be... <laughs> that's it. <laughs> it doesn't look very pretty. We might get hammered again, but... <laughs> yeah, well, that's fishing. He poached my fish. He poached them out. Right off the weed edge. Oh, nice fish, too. Right off the surface, eh? He's right up near the top. Yeah, another not bad one. Nice fish. Nicely colored. Decent size. You need some of those big guys boiling around. Yeah, that's what's nice about a lake like this, though. You catch a bunch of fish like this, and you catch the big guys, too. There's some big fish roaming around yeah, here. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I'll get them around and net them. There he is. <coughs> Ready to go, you just tip the net in there. Yeah, those nets are handy, aren't they? The nice yeah, I rubber. like the little rubber net. As soon as he's recovered, he's gone. <laughs> he's got some weight. Oh, he's rocketing. <laughs> Is that a good one? Oh, yeah, look That's at that guy. Now the bite's on. Finally, after the storms, he slammed it. And you know what? We I think we avoided the, the next storm, too. You know, it kind of it kind of went that way. As you can see, we're all bundled up. We had uh, t-shirt weather, and then pouring rain. It cooled off a whole bunch, and now the fire, the fish are finally biting again. It's taken them a bit of time. We had to wait it out for about an hour and a half, two hours, but they're on. Feels oh. good. Oh, too bad. That was a big boy. Oh no! Yeah. Pulled off right at the end, least hoisting them up. Boy, they're good fighters, eh? Yeah, they are. They got great, great wow. scrappy. Okay, that was a better a lot, fish. Had a lot of heat on him. So Too bigger. Bad. That was a big fish. Big fish. So you're changing it up, I see. Yeah, I don't know. You're using the mayfly, eh? So yeah, I'm I just changed over. Because I just, uh, you know, I've had a few on the damsel, but now I'm seeing a lot more activity on the, especially the mayflies. Well, the sun came out. Right, we had the big storm pass over. Sun's yeah. out now. And uh, it's gotten a lot warmer, and I've seen a lot more mayflies hatching. Like, we have a lot more, a lot of adults. A few spinners on the water, I'm seeing lots of shucks, so I've just changed over to my uh, Foster Trail Mayfly net. I'm just gonna hang it in close in there. And what are you thinking? I don't know, it's gonna use a little seal bunker, but maybe but those fish are right, like there's some right in those I know, weeds, right in big the big guys, but they're pretty pretty finicky in there and they're pretty uh, pretty tough to get. I wonder if I should just use a normal damsel. You had a regular damsel on there. Eh? I had a normal damsel on there, yeah, and I got a few. Mayfly? Yeah, on the mayfly. Yeah, well, they have to be, right? There's got to be fish feeding on these maize. they got to be yeah. moving for the nymphs. And of course, one of my favorite patterns is the uh, ostrich trail mayfly. It's just, uh, you, can, you know, the cool thing with the ostrich trail is you can tie it in so many different colors. You know, I've, I've gone from pink to bleach to browns and greens. And this one, of course, is my brown. There, little guy. And he ate. Right on the 
right on the side of the lip. I'll just let this guy off. He's just a little guy. Right on the, right on the side of the lip. There it goes. Wow. Well, that's okay, good. You obviously you chose. You selected correctly. I did. I selected wisely. Let's see what, what yeah. this guy could do. Well, that's a good sign. Now we just need a bigger guy. To use. I want a big guy now. There was some big guy slurping in there. Yeah. Well, I lost that one. That was about four pounds. Oh, there's some nice fish here. Oh, there are. deep. It's going to be a tough one to pull up. 16, a lot of fish. Lots of fish down there at, they're running about 12. The fish are all hanging around 12 feet and 12 16 feet. feet of water. Some big boys too, they had big and little on the screen. Started seeing the big hats and we had to move to the bay. Yeah. Smacked it. And that was a oh, second look at cast that. up here. Nice fish. Ooh. Oh, is he nice? That's yeah. good. We knew there was big fish up in there too. He's a nice one. Look at the size of him. There he is. Look at it. Nice, oh, nice fish. Boy, they're tough, hey? They are. There he comes. There he is. He's fighting good. A good fight. There he is. Right. He's chubby. Good scrappy fish. Yeah. Healthy. Fat and healthy. That's good. We know they're up here. These are good shape, eh? Really good shape. Colors. That's why they're they're scrappy. Nice. Yes. Well, maybe hold that guy up, Dale. Wait until he recovers. Yeah. Hold him up a little bit. That's a nice, uh, nice little anchor there. He's got some really nice meat to him. There's some nice colors on him. Yeah, beautiful the shine. Fish. Now he'll swim over the top of the net. There he there goes. There he goes. Gone. Very nice. On tequila. On tequila. Well, until the mayflies, man. Huge mayfly hatch. Had a few on the maze, but man, they must have just gorged on them. They got stuff floating all over. Oof. They're not eating the mayfly. The heat. It's got the good helmet head. <laughs> just I think we got problems too. You know, we were wanting to wind drift mayflies when you get a really good drift. And I've tried some mayflies on the clear intermediate sink. Had a you know a couple of hits. Not no real solid takes. Actually pulling on to a indicator, but it's dead calm. You just no wind drift. You can't work it effectively. So you know again, you got to resort to a clear intermediate sink, which isn't a bad thing. So I'm just having to work it back nice and slow, or you go with the with tequila, put on the full sink line and have it right on the bottom. But that seems to be the only way we're catching them right now. It's just a huge mayfly hatch came off. It's dying off now and yet they won't take the mayfly nymph because there's no wind, because it's dead calm. I need some wind. I'm gonna tie my baby damselfly nymph. This is a killer pattern, particularly early in the spring and late in the fall, when trout love to gorge on juvenile or immature damselfly nymphs. They'll come into the shallow areas in amongst the long stem bulrush or other vegetation and actively seek out and pick off baby or immature nymphs. It's a very simple pattern to tie. It works great suspended under an indicator fishing those open water pockets. For the hook we'll use a size 12 scud pupa, some 8 out olive thread to tie with, a 7 64th inch gold tungsten bead for the bead, some olive marabou for the tail, some twisted olive marabou for the body, and a fine gold wire for the rib. So I've got my tungsten bead on, and I take my tying thread, 
And the reason why I've used that tungsten bead head is it just provides a lot more action to the flies that's dropping through the water. And particularly when you get a little chop on the water, um, it just, in combination with the marabou, it makes for a great uh, uh, movement to the fly. And then I'm just tying in my gold wire, taking a piece of my strung marabou, and you definitely want to use strung, not uh, woolly bugger marabou, because you want the fine tips of the marabou, marabou to be um, uh, flowing in the water. So I'm going to tie this in by the, by the tips, like so right at the bend of the hook. Bring my thread forward, and then I'm just going to take the rest of the marabou and uh, twist it or spin it, and this will make the uh, the marabou fibers stand out. So bring it right tight to the back of the bead, tie it off, and then we're going to take our gold wire and just carefully wind it and wiggle it as you wind through the marabou because you don't want to flatten out all those uh, fibers because you're, you're, they really do pulse in the water when they're out there. And as I said earlier, this fly, it's just deadly under an indicator tied on with a non-slip loop knot. And we'll just whip finish it, finish it off. Very simple pattern, but very effective. And there you have baby damsel. Oh, wow. oh, nice fish. I had to resort to it. I had to go to the deep water <laughs> tractor. So what we've done is we moved out of the shallows. We went in the shallows and worked our damsels and worked some uh, mayflies. But I had to go to the deep water. The fish all moved out. We had no rising fish there. So now we're in about 17 feet. And I'm using the deep water tractor pattern. You can see him right in the corner of his lip there. He just tapped it. And that guy ate it. There he is there. And you can see that. You know, not a huge fish, but again, nice size. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, full of life. Right in the, look at that, right in that bottom. The tongue. Yeah. He's, not tongue. A, he's not bad, you know. He's, what have we been getting all day? Yeah, Just they're good fish, though. They're, they're not nice. fun. Yeah, they're very they're strong. Oh, oh. He's peppy. <laughs> I know. He's recovered. You won't he be able is. to he's, get him. See, well, there's no that's way. Good about okay, this well, you know what? We're not going to hold him. Watch him go. He's just going to go. Yeah. He yeah. is. He's ready to roll out. Yeah, that's a good thing about the net. Yeah, you just leave. Oh, jump. boom. Gone. <laughs> so we just got out to the deep water, and we had crazy weather, right? We've had just the crazy weather so far. Finally cleared up. And as soon as it got nice, it just Fight shot right off. down. Well, I Fight think the off. fish went back deep. They are so in the shallow. A so. strategy that we like to use all the time is go to the deep water. If, you, if they're not in the shallow water, they're not on the shoals, you know they're down deep, right? You know they've got to go there. So you go down deep, full sink line, put on tequila yeah, or, or other patterns yeah, or some other down. deep water pattern. And you got to be dredging the bottom. You got to be down, you know, 17, 19 yeah, feet. That's right. Well, we're down 18 feet here, and to mark the fish. But on we're it, marking so, yeah. fish, and that's where they are right now. So, I don't mind. No, you know, well, I'm catching not a, fish. I'm so. not a wet line kind of guy. I'd much rather be casting out my my indicator. But it's all right if I'm catching fish. I'll do it. Another guy on the deep water attractor. And look where they're taking it too, Dale. Like right yeah, in the top lip. Top lip. Which like, is kind of like it's funny, like a chronometer. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Right on the. And real mm -hmm. soft takes. Normally they crush them pretty good. Yeah. Look at that. Just... Right on the top lip. Oh. Oh. And off she goes. It's off. Excellent. Well, we don't even have to hold them up. No. You can just do them. Give them the old little. The net release. I like uh, the net release. Oh yeah, the little rubber nets. They're great. He just gets revived. And, and there he goes. And look, the little booby <laughs> in the water there. 
Look at the way that guy floats. He looks like I a know. Little... Look at it. Doesn't look like <laughs> anything in nature. Well, so what do you think about the day today? Oh, well, we didn't get out today because it was pouring rain, yeah. right, in the morning, and we couldn't even we couldn't even fire up the camera at the start because it was raining so hard. Then the storm came over. They went on the bite. Then it got well, beautiful weather, yeah, went but off. they went on the bite for how long? Yeah, yeah. Right? Shortly. 15 minutes? Like, just a short, very short bite. And that's a thing you're going to have when you lake fish. It's one thing we like to mention all the time is it's not easy to catch fish. No, You know, no. it's fishing. You're going to have great days that we have sometimes, and you're going to have some tough days. But one thing you want in your arsenal for sure is this little guy. You know, we've <laughs> talked about him. This is Dale's favorite fly now. I mean, the bulldog, yeah. obviously, and this fly. But, you know, tequila can save a day. If you don't have tequila, we wouldn't have probably caught how many fish? Like yeah, three that's right. yeah. today, maybe three fish. Yeah. But with this guy, we've been able to make a show and actually have a pretty decent day. Yeah. And, you know, we've probably got another hour. We'll fish this guy, maybe get a few more fish. But without tequila, we'd be <laughs> oh, in trouble. I yeah, I know. Excellent. Well, thanks for coming out. Yeah, you're welcome. You know, Brian couldn't make it today. Brian wasn't feeling great. Brian Chan, so we'll we'll get him tomorrow, and we'll see how that goes. But uh, always have fun when we come out. Yeah. Even when we get beat up. <laughs> And we did get <laughs> and beat we did up. Get beat up. <laughs> so when you're out here, take care. Conserve our waters, and we'll see you next time when we take you sport fishing on the fly. There's a little jam right there. <laughs> to watch all our latest sport fishing on the fly episodes and to order sport fishing on the fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca. And if you'd like to book an adventure like this one shown, Head to onthefflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.